Welcome back to Low Country Spotlight. You know, I started the show by reminding everyone that, you know, happy 2016, uh, new year, new resolutions, question mark, new times to make pledges about things that we want to do to remain healthy, um, happy, and wise. Well, to that end, we have in the studio for our third segment, Ms. Kim Hammonds-Lee, who is the owner and operator of Moa Diem Day Spa, which is located in North Charleston. And Kim is going to talk to us a little bit about what she offers at the spa in terms of services. But she has this energy about her that every time I'm in her presence, whether I'm running through the mall trying to get somewhere, <laughs> or whether I see her at an event, it's always so calm and peaceful. Mm -hmm. And now you told me that one of your titles is a, what described, I can't remember what you said. You said it's a spiritual. A, a sacred energy expert. A is, sacred yes. energy expert. And you know, I don't necessarily know the, the true definition of that. I'm gonna okay. let you explain it. But I see this spirituality all mm -hmm. over you and I love it. So first Thank off, you. welcome Low Country Spotlight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, now sacred energy expert. Okay. Tell me what that means. Okay. It is a title that's actually a pretty new title, so you're not going to find it uh, on the website. Okay, okay? okay. You're not going to find that anybody else has this title. Okay. But simply just means that I help to connect the mind, body, soul, and spirit to a path of holistic, naturopathic mm -hmm. um, teachings. Mm -hmm. So I kind of help direct you to a path wherein you're able to heal. Yeah, and you know, that's such an amazing gift mm -hmm. and talent because most of the time when we have an injury, when we have an illness, what's the first thing we do? We run to the medicine cabinet Absolutely. and grab something artificial. We run to the doctor, which is great, mm -hmm. and grab, get a prescription, we run to the pharmacist. But you're saying there's a there's a better way or a natural way to heal. Talk Absolutely. a little bit about that. Absolutely, it's most definitely a better and a natural way. And being the owner and the operator of a day spa, mm -hmm. I can tell you that people are searching for an alternative way now to be able to heal, to be able to find relief, to be able to separate themselves from a stressful life, yeah. to be able to uh, separate themselves from a chaotic life. Yeah. And then people are also dealing with disease and illness. Mm -hmm. So people are trying to find a way so they don't have to necessarily pop so many pills yeah. so that they are not visiting to the emergency room so oh, yeah. frequently, yeah. Um, so that they are not having to go to the doctor's offices mm -hmm. as much as perhaps they've been going or as much as many times they see their family and friends and their friends having to go yeah. so having a day spa one of the things we do is we offer people a way that you can connect to a different connect to yourself okay. that you're able to connect to uh, to a different way of healing once yeah. again without having to put some of the poisons and stuff yeah. in your body yeah. without having to spend sometimes as much money as you're having to spend when you are having to go to doctors right um, not saying that we have anything against doctors oh, because yeah. we certainly do love yes, them yes, yes. Um, but what we are saying is that you are responsible for yourself you're yeah. responsible for your healing yeah so having a day spa means that we offer services where as you can come and you can be healed. So whether that right. is um, through massage therapy, okay. whether that is from getting um, natural uh, detoxes, Ooh, whether yeah. that is from uh, getting body wraps, whether mm -hmm. that is from getting foot soaks. Wow. We offer all these types of services so that we can help you to get, reach your goal. And hopefully yeah. your goal would be to be yeah. better, to feel better yeah. and to, to achieve a high level of wellness yeah and you know I always think that I have my best friend just had a baby a little while ago okay and it was the most painful experience for me and I wasn't carrying the baby okay. See, every day it was like oh this hurts that hurts okay. I mean, I'm like what hurts I don't know I'm in pain okay. and I would always think people been having babies since the dawn of time Absolutely. without running to the doctor and without you know, needing all of this additional help. Mm -hmm. So to me, what it seem, what you seem to be saying is, there's a natural way that our body can heal and respond, but you have to put yourself in the right environment to, to obtain that. Absolutely. First of all, you have to want it, yeah. like anything else. You yeah. have to want to be healthy. And next, I really think that you have to realize that the weight is on you to yeah. be healthy. Yeah. Because sometimes we are, we are always expecting that magic bullet, right. that instantaneous Fix. Yeah. And you have to change your mindset and realize that if you're going to have this, mm -hmm. if you're going to be healthy and you're going to be whole, yeah. you're going to have to do it yourself. Yeah. And you can't always expect 
for fa family and friends to support that. It's yeah. wonderful and it's fantastic if they do, but if they don't, you have to go for it for right. yourself. Because if you don't go for it for yourself, then what you're left with perhaps is a disease, yeah. is illness, yeah. a lack of energy. Yeah. You know, you are going to have all kinds of things going on with your body and with hmm. your mind, and you are not going to feel very good about that. Your energy is not going to be yeah. good. You yeah. are not going to be happy overall. So it is worth putting every bit of the effort that's mm -hmm. needed to be able to do it. And let's face it, right about now, a lot of people are kind of in that mode. Yeah, 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 the beginning of the year. And the we talked about, year, you know, yes. you don't necessarily believe in New Year's resolutions per no. se, but tell us what your approach mm -hmm. is if you want to start out the beginning of the year with this new healthy mm -hmm. thrust in your life. Okay, well, since we're already at the beginning of the year, I yeah. said go ahead and go for it. Yeah. It doesn't take the beginning of the year, however, for you to decide to make a change to be healthy. Yeah. Wherever you are, whatever point and place you are in life, Life, you need to decide, guess what? I'm oh, willing yeah. to do something different. I'm going to challenge myself to something greater and something bi mm. bigger, and that is that I want to be healthy. Yeah. But let's just face it, we are in 2016. Yeah. So what I would recommend to people is that if you find yourself every year having the same resolution that I'm going to yes. lose weight, I'm going to lose weight. You've <laughs> oh, been doing goodness. it for five years. You've had and the same. And have lost a pound yet. Has, and have not lost a pound. So what's going on with this? Yeah. And what I tell people many times the reason you're not losing weight is because you haven't changed your mindset. Right. So you need to shift and change your mindset and say, you know, um, how do I do this? I see all all these instant things around me my yeah. friends are you know some of my friends are doing smoothies some are doing this and some are doing that and sometimes people begin to jump on the bandwagon right. and they don't really understand their bodies they don't really understand how their bodies work right. they don't understand why you should detox right. they don't understand the benefits of detoxing gotcha. and getting healthier so instead they say well it seems easy for me to do to take these shakes over here, so that's not going to cause me too much energy, right. too much stress. And girl, I'm gonna stop you on that note because you uh -huh. are on a roll, but yes. you have to come back Low Country Spotlight. Okay. Check out Kim Hammonds Lee at mm -hmm. Mo Moa Diem Spa in North mm -hmm. Charleston. We'll have all of her info on our website. And she's gonna be a recurring guest because this woman is very passionate <laughs> about this and she's here to help us get straight. You, yes. know, you can start right now. More Low Country Spotlight next week. Mm -hmm.